this is a speedy run through through the worksheet now listen i know i'm a little late but there's been a lot of conflicting information that i need to go through and i'm also super busy so let's just run right through this question one uh three possible ones you gg whatever this is whatever this is <laughs> tyrosine cytosine whatever and i couldn't figure out anything else for uh uag but let's continue anyways so um consequences premature stop change in function for the protein and don't don't quote me on this but i just threw this in there so that we could learn a little bit more about thyrosine's benefits and function also it comes from alenophene which is interesting another amino acid we should know about okay um how would you determine i basically said premature stop from like this or this or a different protein could be produced all together through the reading or through the production whatever it may be moving on to question number three if it's too small if it's too small there's no assisting with whatever this is binding it won't recognize it won't allow the initiation for the translation to happen aka no protein production moving on next okay this one is crossed out because i wasn't too sure how to include it but uh the rna binds to this and then this literally power strokes the bottom half of the tRNA. I guess after that it gets recycled and yeah it also helps with termination but i'm not going to get too much into that yes this this and this okay um 6a i believe is the worst case scenario with the, all the information given because vital this but this is the most important it needs to bind those two together to create that pipe pipe down bond otherwise no protein produced There we go. All wrong produced doesn't work. Dangerous to the body or incorrect function. I'm basically I went freaking paranoid. Uh, not as bad as option A. Could lead to a permanent premature stop. That's all I said with the mutation. Okay, seven. Uh, similarities. tRNA reads it as codons, like three at a time. The development of a protein chain of amino acid through ribosomal activity or through uh ribosome. I basically wanted to get fancy, but uh, you could uh, you could mention this as a difference. I should have done that. Uh, both have an, uh, same docking sites, using for amino acids and exiting for process. What are some of the difference? Um, prokaryotes don't have a poly A cap. I mean, don't have a poly A tail and five cap. Eukaryotes do, as we have learned before, uh, from the mRNA. Uh, eukaryotes are uh, these wait translation location within the nucleus. This is done. We could argue the same for transcription, but I don't know at this point. Uh, what about uh, translation for the protein happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, um, even though the mRNA is not fully completed, the prokaryote will still do the translation for it, while the eukaryote cannot. And then there's just a difference in ribosomes. And then this is basically the bitch ass order. And uh, yep, that's it. If I ever link this at the bottom of the description, let me know because I don't ever do it. See ya.